Praise the Lord, dear friend, child of the Most High God. I'm Thomas Manton IV, and the Lord spoke to me to bring this word about the omnipotence of God, the power of Almighty God. You know, during this crisis, we all feel perplexed and burdened and in a lot of despair and a lot of, you know, many have had downturns of all of these things that are going on because of it. And then you wonder what you're going to do next. And sometimes people don't always know what to do. Well, of course, you need to speak the word. You need to stay in faith. But sometimes we just need to pray. Because in this crazy world we're living in and the way things are going now, like you have to really hear God, obey God, and get his perfect plan of action for you or else you don't want to suffer by making any missteps right now so if you were to make a decision you could say did God tell you to do that did God tell you anything about it if not pray my challenge is to the the whole body of Christ and all of our people it's really a time for prayer you know I know it's like something we'd always say it's time to pray but right now we need to seek God and I thought long uh, I thought not long but hard a uh, hard in my mind about this this morning about you know what's the best use of my time right now what's the best use of our time right now what's the best thing we can do right now and the Lord just made it clear to me we need to pray. Spend time praying. Spend time uh, in the presence of God. Spend time rehearsing His Word, thinking about His greatness. And the Lord is saying right now, and I say this, I say this with, you know, a, a, a lot of things stirring up on the inside of me. The omnipotence of God is real. I want to encourage our partners and friends around the world. If you think that God is not working behind the scenes, look at Job 38. Job, it's not a popular book because of the trials that Job went through, but the end is good. Job 42, 10 to the end. Now, if you're on and you're trekking with me, great. If you're just flipping by to say, you know, see, then flip off and go to the next page. Amen. I need people to listen seriously to God. I love these people, you know, they come and just tap in and then tap off, you know. Top of the morning to you. Go right along with your day. Whatever you think is so important. God spoke through his word and he's speaking through his prophet. Preachers are the worst for that. They think that they have the, you know, the wherewithal and everything. But I, I listen to people that really got it, you know. When you have it, you know it. I have it, meaning the anointing from heaven. Uh, a, <laughs> a mantle for breakthrough in this generation. Glory. So I am very thrilled about that. I feel like so highly privileged, privileged. I feel so in awe of God, you know, for his sovereignty that he chose me and called me to be his oracle and his prophet. Boy, the presence of God is falling here right now. Right now. Receive his peace in your house. Receive his peace through your phone. Wherever you uh, find yourself right now, if you're watching this by television, screen, or computer, or phone, or what device, or tablet, let the presence of the Lord come through this right now and give you tremendous peace because he is omnipotent and he told me to tell everybody thus saith the lord he's working behind the scenes by his omnipotence the lord said in job 38 he said then the lord answered job in in the midst of a whirlwind whoo and said who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge you better watch what you're saying about God and his things. 
and about what you think he may or may not be doing because he's working for you, he's working for me. And we just need to be reminded of that. You know, it, it helps your, your soul and your emotions and your mind and your thinking to think um, that God is actually here working for me. Amazing, isn't it? And you're worried about people and situations and what's going on and you think, oh, is this going to work out? Is that going to work out? The Lord says, have I not done it before? Am I not God? Is anything too hard for me? Of course, nothing's too hard for me. But the, the question I think we have in our mind, is God really doing it for me? Not can he. We know he can. We, we always believe he can. But is he actually working for me? Is he doing it? Think about it. I want to tell you the answer is yes, my precious one. Yes, I'm doing it for you, says the Lord. Wow. So who is this that speaks the words without knowledge? Now, all the way in verse 30, it says, uh, the waters, I can, hardly, I can hardly read it, the lighting here anyway. He says, can you, can you bind the cluster of the Ple Pleiades, which means a, a collection of stars? <laughs> can you loose the belt of Orion? That's another star system that God made that he just mentioned here. You notice the Bible doesn't tell us much about the outer galaxies. Can you set their dominion over the earth? All of these things, the, the, the ordinances of the heavens... Job 38, verse 30, around there. Read the whole chapter. Can you, can you do that? Can you do that? Were you there when that happened? Were you, there, were you there when I formed the earth? Were you there when I thought of you eons ago? The Lord says, are you not my own righteous? Have not, woo, have not I helped you before? bailed you out of situations, helped you. You cried, and I answered. But that's why we need to pray right now. We really need to pray and talk to God, say, Lord, and command things like, hey, God, you know what? Not like we're saying, hey, like disrespectfully, but we just say, we're saying, you know what? This thing that I'm believing for right now, this thing that I need, I'm mentioning it to you. I'm asking you to send your angels this is a prayer, how can I say, um, transaction. It's more than a transaction. It's a whole business. It's a whole enterprise. It's a whole system. It's a whole thing that we, we need to do with God so that he will answer by fire. You, you, you can't like say nothing, expect nothing, desire nothing, and then expect everything to work. We need to use our faith. Nevertheless, we still need to use our faith. Can you send lightnings? You went on and on. Read the whole chapter. It's lengthy. It's, it's intense. But the Lord is, the, the heading is, God proves and he reveals and proves his omnipotence to Job. He wants to prove his and reveal his omnipotence to us. Listen here, as people on the earth, Sometimes we feel uh, perplexed about situations and people, what they're doing or not doing and all that. We, that's, we need to get in the spirit and begin to command things to happen. But I want to also encourage people to tell you that God knows your plight. He knows your dilemma. He knows your situation. He knows every circumstance you're having, every situation you're facing. He knows it. And he's working to fix it. And I want to prophesy this. He's working to fix it for you, says the Lord. I am working to fix things for you, says the Lord. The things that you thought because you had an insecurity, because you had so much warfare over situations, and you had so many things come against your life, and, and you feel like, hey, you know, you feel just troubled and like unsure because of all the adversities you've had. Many people are in these situations and have been and maybe are right now. Probably so in light of all that's going on. 
The Lord says, I've not forgotten you. I spoke about that the other day. The Lord says, I've not forgotten you. I'm in this, I've been in this series, The Blessing of the Father, so I might as well say this is volume 9 right here. I did volume 8 the other day, so we'll just make this volume 9. I think this is very befitting about the blessing of the Father. Here now, talking about the Father God. We talk about the fathers on the earth, spiritual fathers, like I am one also to many people. But you know, the Father God, His omnipotence, His power, His glory, His dominion, His might is working for you, my friend. Please know that. Don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget this right here. Don't ever forget it. God is working for you on your behalf. I want to say the e-books are ready, The Laws of Success and the Benefits of Excellence. Those that have been partners in the ministry, you're going to be getting them this week for sure. We're going to find your number and hopefully can send to you by uh, the... Uh, chat messenger and if you'd like to get it by you can respond to that you know and let's communicate more but I'm sending you as my love gift to you my gift of appreciation to you um, these books and also my prophetic prayer for you that God is doing just what he said here like in Job 38 I did all this don't forget it and you know the many scriptures that say I'm the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? No. And not just can I do it. We, we met many, most of us believe he can. We know he's powerful. We know he's all-knowing. We know he's all-seeing. We know he's omnipotent. We know he's omniscient. We know he's omnipresent. We know that about him. He's the uh, omnipotent God. Invincible. Un immovable. Glorious. But do we believe he's working for us? Do you believe he's working for you? Do I believe he's working for me? The answer is yes, he is. So my precious friend, my precious one, the Lord is working for you. You need to just remember that, believe that. A big, huge bird just flew by, like one of those giant storks or eagle or something Ooh, amazing all these things he made in the creation and that's why I post many things about the beauty of creation pictures of that all kinds of creation animals flowers trees landscape beaches uh, birds and animals all kinds of animals and I even make my own safari videos we go to the wild places where the where the big animals are and film and take pictures and show because I just love it. I love it because it shows the glory of God. And he made it for our enjoyment, but it also shows how powerful he is that he made all of those things. And he made us. So won't he take care of us? Yes, he will. Some ways you can get blessed. It's not just, well, God is there and he knows, so I'm just a taker and I just expect him to do everything for me for nothing. No, no, no. It also doesn't work like that. You need to use your faith. You need to use your action. So you can sow seed. You can plant seed. You want a financial harvest? You have to plant a financial seed. Do that today. Today is Sunday. It's the first of the week. 1 Corinthians 16, 2. I love what Paul said. He said, at the first of the week, set aside something for the work of the Lord. That was on the Sunday. First day of the week in the biblical calendar is Sunday. Today is Sunday. Set something aside for God's work, for his world mission, and the Lord will bless you. Also, I will show my appreciation to you by sending you some gifts and sending you some messages that will empower and enhance your life. Uh, I'm in the middle of writing something today. I'm going to finish it tonight, and I'm going to post it. Uh, a message about protection and empowerment. It's very, very weighty, and uh, look for that. So I love this social media that we can keep feeding people, but I want to eventually see all of you. And the connection and the, how can I say, the communication is important. So you write me your prayer request. Tell me that you're there, where you're watching from, and how I can pray for you and how we can see your life become much more successful than it is. And I'm standing for that for you. In Jesus' name. Please remember that God loves you. He knows your situation. He's working behind the scenes for the righteous, for the wicked. <laughs> They've done too many things they don't deserve. 
that, you know, there's some people God can't bless. Some people that do horrible things and then they ask me to bless them. And I'm like, uh, you must have a very short memory. You remember what? You know? Of course, we forgive everything. So also forgive whatever crazy things people have done. Wicked, evil things people don't. We forgive them, but we don't forget. You know, it doesn't mean you have to work with them and have a relationship with them, but you forgive them and release them. You don't hold any charge to anybody. It frees you when you do that. Hmm? So God gave us some law. So that's a law of forgiveness, a law of the seed, sowing seed, a law of prayer. That's what I'm talking about here. Praying, reading, studying. All of these things make you stronger and God sees you're serious, and then he wants to send his angels to just do great things for you, like he's also doing for me. So know that he's on the scene, and he's working on your behalf, my friend. Love you much. I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. And uh, all the information on how you can sow and partner with the ministry is in the heading and also in the comments. And I'm so glad that God is speaking here. I release this blessing of the Father upon you. In Jesus' name, that you know the omnipotent, awesome, loving creator more and more in Jesus' name as we continue in these teachings. See you on the next broadcast, and I'm praying for you in Jesus' name. Amen.